give me some of the biggest mistakes you've seen entrepreneurs, founders, uh, solopreneurs, any, mm. any of these different uh, uh, kind of psychographic group of people okay. while they're trying to build a business. What are the mistakes that you see that they, that they make that are kind of the lessons, you know, the patterns that yeah. you, you walk yeah, yeah. in and say, Oh, that's there's a, it. There's an ego problem here. Or, yeah. Oh, they got a blind spot over there thinking too short term or too long term or what? I would say small to mid sized. Uh, the biggest, the like, number one biggest is the founder CEO, because typically it's come out of their soul. They believe that what is important to them should be important to the company. And that's just not always true. In fact, most of the times in the bigger you get, it's actually really detrimental. You don't matter. The bigger you get, the less you matter to your company. And of course, you're important for a lot of reasons, but day to day, you're almost meaningless. The biggest mistake is micromanaging. That's a big one, right? Um, I did it, hired great people, stood on the top of their head, didn't let them do anything, made them feel like shit. pivotal moment. My COO came to me and was like, D, you're amazing at what you do. I'll stay with you forever, but I'm good at what I do too. Please let me do my job. Hmm. And I felt assaulted because I knew I was wrong. And when I finally did it, changed everything. I went from good to great to holy cow, like I'm free to do all of these things that, that are not being done. So micromanaging, believing that your belief system matters to your company, it doesn't. You stay true to what your product is, you set the value that your company, your product has, and that is the only guiding factor. Your company doesn't have political beliefs, doesn't have religious beliefs, doesn't care how you feel on any given day. I see that as being one of the bigger things in small to mid range. When you get mid to large, I think the biggest thing is associate treatment. So talk to me about the trickle down when it comes to how people are treating employees. Yeah. So I think trickle down is another way of saying poor accountability. Hmm. Uh, I think in the larger companies, uh, there's incredible initial leadership. Here's exactly the plan. Here's how everything is going to go. And then I'm so busy and important that here, go do it. And then when they do go and do it and there's massive success, I'm the guy. When they don't, there's no accountability. You're damn right. But guess what? The companies that really succeed in really meaningful ways, those are the guys that stand up and stand up for their people and say, that was my fault. That was my miss. That was my loss. Because it is. No matter how far down you go that line, even, even if what you started was done perfectly, mm -hmm. it is ultimately your responsibility that makes sure that your message is relayed all the way effectively down that line. I think that is a sign of really poor leadership. And although sometimes it can take, unfortunately, too long for that to become present before you know that it actually is the guy in the top's fault. Yeah. In my experience, I, I'm really good at tracking the problem where it is to how far it goes. And that's been my experience in the larger companies. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. We post new content every single day. If you're into network marketing, entrepreneurship, or personal development, this is the channel for you.